Hi, today we're going to talk about how to create your portfolio for this semester. Um, we want to start out by going to vls.drake.edu slash Moodle, and so we see this site, and then we're going to log in like a typical student. Um, I've created an account for this demonstration. Okay, so like uh, any typical first semester student, I'm, I have two classes, the VLS Strategies class and my Language class. Um, we're not going to be interested in those today. What we're really interested in is this link over here called My ePortfolio. Um, if you click on that, it should auto-log you into Mahara, which is the portfolioing site that we're going to use. Okay, so it sees that um, we have Fulano Magano. Uh, as logged in, and then what we want to do is you want to uh, click on My Portfolio. Now ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to create a view, um, but um, one of the, your assignments throughout the semester is going to be posting into a blog that you have access to in here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to create this blog first, and then we're going to link it back to a view that we create and title a specific way. So let's start out by going to My Blogs. And, and already uh, there's a blog that's been created for you, Fulano Mangano's blog. Um, but it doesn't have any posts yet, so let's add one. So here let's add a new post. So And then type in my first post. Okay, and then hit save post. All right. So um, you'll notice that there's a post that's in there, and then we'll be able to see this when we create a view. So let's go back to your view, and you don't have any created yet. So let's click on um, Create a View. And then it asks you, the first question that it asks you is, what do you want to put in your view? Now you can put all kinds of things in, but we only have one thing to put in at this point. Um, let's take this blog artifact, and you just click and drag, and you can put it anywhere in this view. Now by default, you have a three-column view, and so you can place it here, here, here. Let's just put it over here on the left-hand side. Okay, it asks what you want to title it, and this is going to be my blog. And then if you had multiple blogs that you had created, it would ask you, or you could choose which one you want to put in here. But since we only have one blog crea created, we're going to choose that one and then hit save. And as soon as you do that, what you're going to see is that the blog that you just created and the post um, is going to show up inside of this view. So let's finish out this view. Uh, we're going to click on the Next button. And this is where we want you to title this um, something specific. So we want to title it with your name, so Fulano is my name of the account that I'm using. And then um, ePortfolio. And then Spring 2010. And we're assuming that you may want to create multiple views or you may want to use this semester over semester. And so we want to be able to know which view or that you're using for your portfolio this semester. So we want it titled this way. Um, so uh, I'm going to click the Next button. Uh, you're going to want to click the Add next to the public. Don't worry about the to or from at all. And then click Save. So now that we've seen Fulano Mangano's ePortfolio for Spring 2010. So even if you had gone in and created other views, or if you have ones from previous semesters, we know exactly which one that you're using for this semester. So this is the initial creation of your portfolio, and then you're going to revisit this several times, and we're going to start adding things to it, but this is what we need to do to begin.